Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day number two. And this is how we're starting. On the beach in Daytona, there's our hotel. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take a walk. Checkout time's not till 11. We got about four and a half to five hours of travel time. And then we're basically going to another Holiday Inn on the beach in Jekyll Island. So we're in no big hurry to get out of here this morning. It is the 4th of July, so happy 4th of July to everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day and uh, enjoy celebrating our independence that allows us to do shit like this. Anyway, we're gonna take a nice long walk on the beach and then uh, get out of here, head to Jekyll Island. Say good morning. She's not saying good morning. She's ignoring you. It's okay. That's right. We'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, day two on the road. Here we go. Oh, nope, here we don't go. Mama's off her bike now. Okay, what's going on now? Right, let's try this again. Mama's highway pegs were all fucked up. Got those fixed. Now it's time for gas and hitting the road. Are you ready? Ready. Here we go. Oh, and hopefully everything fires up. decided to stop here in St. Augustine at Beaches. Is that the name of this place? I think Beaches. it's called Beaches. Here's the view. Although we're going to sit inside. <laughs> There's a pier right here. We're going to go sit inside and cool off a little bit before we continue our journeys today. I was so. surprised St. Augustine wasn't as busy because during bike week and bike tour bus we're always like sitting in traffic. It was pretty busy. And this time we got through like over the bridge. Hello. Hello. All right, guys, so we came out of the restaurant. Oh, you're fogging up on me. Hang on. <laughs> All right, you're not foggy. Check this thing out. It was parked out here. It's pretty freaking cool, right? All painted to match. 105th anniversary. This is one of my favorite paint schemes. That's freaking cool. I dig it. The license plate is packed. The license plate is packed. Yeah. Anyway, there's where we went to eat beaches and then over there's the pier and over here we're parked way over here somewhere hey it's kind of clouding up that might help with the heat well the next stretch is gonna have um, a lot of covered roads okay i'm excited for it. she's excited all my badge is excited everybody still riding a1a still on a1a oh and there may be a ferry in our future oh yeah yeah here's the sign <laughs> What's up, buddy? I just had one of your relatives. We had chicken strips, just so you know. Where are you going? There's another chicken. There's another chicken? Okay. 
You're gonna go tell him you ate one of his relatives? <laughs> We're at the Villano Beach Pier Pavilion. Okay, did you know A1A has a ferry? And did you know we're on the ferry? What are you doing, Ange? Getting on a ferry. Yeah, you gonna cross the water. It's not that far. I don't know how well it kind of zigs and zags though too. But yeah, we're getting ready to go across the water on a ferry. There's the bikes. Ready to go. Alright, away we go. Let's go back across the water. like a cruise ship with motorcycles. So we're going to need the helmets. So we decided to just go ahead and put them on now rather than stop along the highway and do it. So off to the next adventure. Did I spell some? I didn't think I did. Mama's cleaning her bike. We wash my bike next. Oh no. She didn't put her lid on and stood her bike up. That sucks. what this place is and this we'll start with this first so yeah I'll let you guys read that and then we'll walk over here and see what this building is there in a minute so I'm gonna just read the last sentence too which says the De, De Bujon family owned Jekyll Island until 1886 when they sold it to a group of millionaires who immediately formed the famous Jekyll Island Club. All right, here's some more stuff to pause the screen and read about. So off in the far distance, Sunny recorded earlier, that's this, the Sydney Lanier Bridge. S-I-D-N-E-Y Lanier L-A-N-I-E-R Bridge for those that was curious to know what bridge that is. Okay. Really cool. Nice little, their own little area. Alright, so the information on this is the Horton House. I'm going to try to stand out of the way where you guys can and see that, sorry. 
and here's some more information found this interesting but you can really see how the building was made out of seashells Oh, so you sure that. Right. <laughs> Trying to figure out where the staircases was in this place. I'm not. <laughs> and then out back. All right, cool place, you guys. Come check it out sometime. Martin. But the history I heard <laughs> from recent. One was from my hairdresser, also a biker, Jesse in Port Charlotte. He said back in the 70s that uh, this is where a lot of the gay people went, was to this island. And then when we were talking with Christina, Brian and Christina, Christina was saying last time she was here, all she saw was a bunch of people and a bunch of golf carts running around in a lot of color, <laughs> which at the time she wore a lot of black. <laughs> so that's all we had to go off of. And now, now we know like the true history going way, way back. But there's a lot of fucking golf carts. <laughs> there is, and I'm excited. Um, it basically, it's like a loop around one side, another loop around the other side. And I know Sunny's getting frustrated with all this, but I love like learning the history and wanting to know where food. we're at. Angie's making me split lunch with her. So I only get half a lunch and then she wants me to wait till seven, oh, eight o'clock at night to eat. <laughs> foggy anymore all right we just ate at the beach house i think is what it's called it's right here next to our hotel we had pizza pizza was good big leftovers. had some leftovers 10 o'clock snack right mama badger had a drink what did you have it's called a strawberry shortcake it had like amaretto and ice cream was it good vanilla it was really good it was my dessert she sucked it down. It must have been pretty good. It was really good. It was dessert. Anyway, we're headed back to the room, and then I don't know what we're going to do, but the fireworks are literally 0 .8, 0 .08 of a mile from here. Yep. So, I mean, we're going to literally walk down to where they're lighting the fireworks off. We'll we're probably We'll probably end up in the pool and watch them over the hotel. Sounds good. But <laughs> we'll see what we're going to do here in a few. All right. So here's the view from the back of our hotel. Fireworks are going to be back there. You can see people sitting out here on the sidewalk. Don't ask me why they're sitting on the front sidewalk. <laughs> sitting on the sidewalk to watch the fireworks down there. At least, uh, at least we're close. We're going to go over here and check out the pool. Ready to go to the pool? <laughs> I am. Sounds good. There's supposed to be a bar somewhere too. We're looking for that. Yes. So, see what we can find. All right, we have chosen our spot to watch the fireworks tonight. We will be watching from these two chairs here. Mama Badger's in the pool. And we're going to watch the fireworks over there. Seems like a perfect ending to a great day. What do you think? All right, we're spinning our fourth in the pool. Watching the fireworks. Seems like the best ending to a great day. Happy 4th of July. We'll see you guys.